Rick Santorum, I mean, if there's one thing you know about him, this man is pro-life, through and through, to the bone. He is the most conservative on social issues. In fact, it creates some political problems for him, and in the general election, it would be a significant issue for him. But in the Republican primaries, I tell you, man, these guys can flip-flop. Mitt Romney he used to be pro-choice, and now he's pro-life, and <laughs> get out of here. There's one thing about Rick Santorum, he did not flip-flop on this issue. Except that it turns out he did. Okay, so in 1990, he starts running for office. At that point, he's not committal. He doesn't think there should be federal funding for abortion. But you know what? He has a nuanced position. Nowhere near the strident position that he has now. Um, do you think we should take both sides into account? Now, Rick Santorum says, oh, hell no, man, no. Pro life under any and all circumstances. Back then, he said you need, quote, a sensitivity to the genuine concerns of both sides. Now, that's a campaign statement, okay? And then he went on to say, um, he recognized that it is, quote, very difficult to criminalize any activity once a large portion of society comes to see it as a right. But that is literally what he's proposing to do now. He's saying if you perform an abortion, which I would like to make illegal, by the way, a great majority of the country does not agree with me, but who cares? But in that time, he was saying, oh, if the country doesn't agree with me, we can't do it. Now he's saying, I don't care. I would make it illegal, I would make it a crime, I would put the doctor in jail. He has literally said that in this campaign. So all of a sudden, a little flippy floppy action, but you're thinking, okay, well, that doesn't necessarily mean he's pro-choice, I'm not one over yet, I hear you. Well, then we go to some uh, public accounts of, of other people's statements about Rick Santorum. There's Tom Allen, uh, who was the abortion doctor who used to date his wife. Uh, that's an incredibly interesting and creepy story. Uh, his, uh, Rick Santorum's wife, when, back when she was single, before she met Rick Santorum, was dating not only an abortion doctor, that there's nothing wrong with that, but he was also the OBGYN who had delivered her. He's over 40 years older than her, he had delivered her, and then he, after she grew up, he's like, all right, now let's have sex. Okay, so they, they had a relationship, but hey, look, to each his own, it's not my position to judge. But she, at the time, uh, she said to him, as apparently that they were uh, breaking up, that he would like Rick Sandler. In fact, let me quote. When Karen told me she was moving out, so I'm quoting Tom Allen here. She said, you'd really like Rick. He's a lot like you. He's politically active and he's pro-choice. Huh, fascinating. Rick Santorum, pro-choice, I thought the one thing we knew about Rick Santorum was that he was pro-life. Now, but wait a minute, you were saying, hey look, he was saying, let's look at both sides, and that's Tom Allen, that's not necessarily Rick Santorum. Well, I'm glad you pointed that out. So let's go to Rick Santorum's actual words in a 1995 interview with Philadelphia Magazine, which Huffington Post found at the archives at Temple University. Here's Rick Santorum in his own words. I was basically pro-choice all my life until I ran for Congress, but it had never been something I thought about. What happened? I thought this was the thing that motivated you the most. I thought it was all about, like, oh my God, we, this is so important. There's no issue more important than life, etc. You're telling me until you turned into a politician, you were pro-choice? But that's literally what he said in 1995. By the way, why the change when he became a politician? A pro-life group helped him to win that election in 1990 for the House. They went out and canvassed for him, etc. And he thought, look at this, this is politically advantageous. So I might as well do that more if I'm gonna get elected into office more. Fantastic, all of a sudden, I'm pro-life. By the way, in that same article, they asked him, so why did you switch positions? He said, oh, you know, when I studied the literature a little bit more and uh, studied science. What does science have to do? What, you didn't study science before and all of a sudden you studied science and decided to be pro-life? And they're like, well, how about religion? I thought you thought that was, he's like, oh yeah, right, right, right. Re religion too, yeah, of course, that had a big part in it. Yeah. Guy is a fraud, man. Just like Ron Paul said in the debate, he's a fake. He's a politician through and through. He'll do whatever it takes to get elected. And then one position you think he is most adamant about, turns out before he became a fake politician, he was actually pro-choice. Politicians, man, they're unbelievable.